What's going on, everybody? I'm Kevin from Cigar Prop. And it is another Drew Estate Tabac and Tech Tip Sunday. Uh, this week powered by Diet Coke instead of uh, Monster Energy. I'm out of Monster Energy. And this isn't lit because Instagram won't let me enjoy one of these and talk to you on video. It's the weirdest thing. Um, so I'll be uh, uh, enjoying this after this video. Um, consumables on a car. Cars are getting cheaper. Um, the cars are getting more expensive, but cars are being made cheaper. There are things on a car that we consider consumables, um, and it's not our fault when it breaks um, or they wear out what you would consider prematurely. Um, take, for instance, a couple times this week. Uh, my latest one was, was yesterday. Uh, a customer was quite irritated that she needed 20 new lug nuts and we were actually cutting her a break um, and essentially giving them uh, her, to her at cost. But they were like $6 a piece, my cost. And she was like, you got, you're the only ones that have ever serviced my car since it was new. Um, I shouldn't have to buy these. And uh, um, this is what she's telling the, uh, um, uh, the sales associate. So she comes out to me, starts free, you know, he starts freaking out, telling me she's freaking out. So I go in there, a lot of times just talk to a technician, sales associates, people behind the counter, they don't know what they're talking about half the time um, or can't explain the situation. So I go in there and I bring one of her lug nuts and I bring a new one and I go, let me explain what's going on. This was a, a Ford Escape, but this is Escape. This is uh, the Focus. Uh, you can see how beat up and rounded this is. Um, as you can see here, there's a two part cap um, so you got a, a lug nut, a solid piece of metal, and then this cheap flimsy cap that gets put on top of that. So I'm trying to uh, explain to her um, uh, the difference between like the, the new cap, and that's the cap that a lot of other, or the new lug nut that a lot of other manufacturers use. It's solid. It's all one piece. It doesn't have a cheap chrome cap on it. These are cheaper to manufacture. Um, and then I explained to her on your car, um, uh, these lug nuts get tightened to 167 foot pounds. I go, your little Ford Escape, we tighten the lug nuts tighter than we do a 2500 Silverado. Blows my mind why these lug nuts require that much torque. Um, then I was telling her, as you're, as you're torquing these down that much, these caps are actually deforming and eventually they look like this and they don't come off. We have to pound a socket on there and then we can get them off, but there's no putting them back on. We can pound a, you know, it's, well, we can't pound a socket on there and put these on and then torque them down. Technically we could, it would take like two hours and you don't want to pay me to, to do that. It would be cheaper to replace all of the lug nuts. So as I explained all these things to her, she understood what was going on. We have to explain the same thing with drain plugs. Uh, you're the only one that's ever changed my oil. Why is my oil pan wore out? I'm sorry, I didn't make your oil pan. I didn't decide to make your oil pan fine thread instead of a coarse thread. Um, and after we've taken it in and out, you know, a hundred times, your oil pan, your aluminum oil pan is just wore out. Um, if you had a nice steel pan with a steel insert, those essentially last forever. But you've got an aluminum pan and um, sometimes they're Healy coiled from the factory. Sometimes they're just drilled and tapped. Those are consumables. There's nothing I can do about this. Um, I didn't create these parts. Um, these parts wear out. Uh, uh, Nissan uh, uh, Rogue uh, uh, doors for their cabin air filters. Um, uh, we keep a couple on hand. They break uh, almost instantly. They break on the first time using them. I mean, you got to buy like, I think it's Dorman, uh, another company that makes a more robust door. Um, and we tell customers that like, hey, you're, you're, you're like 35,000. You're probably due for your first cabin air filter. There's a good chance I'm breaking that door when I remove it. The little tab breaks and it doesn't go back in. And I'm like, you either chance it and like, I will sell you one after the fact. And then I've heard that, oh, now you're just trying to sell me uh, a door. There have been several times I've brought customers out. Let me show you what happens. So you bring them out, you remove the little side panel, 
and um, and you point it goes this is a little clip all you do is push it and the door slides slides out and they're like okay push it snaps off and i go you saw me all i did was push it and it snapped off and because we're like who would design this i don't know who's designing these things um but parts are getting cheaper air filter housings um that uh, um it just you, you have big square air filter and usually you have a machine uh, machine th uh, the threaded bolt that goes into a nut now it's just a coarse thread and it's just it just goes into plastic it just cuts new threads every time and eventually they just wear out um so there are things and i know this really isn't a tech tip this week um on, on how to service your car or um how to maintain your car but it's it's kind of a tech tip that covers my ass um, as a technician there are things that just wear out um lug nuts oil drain plugs bolts things that just get used over and over and over again that just wear out over time and you just have to replace them um it sucks uh, manufacturers only are recommending oil changes on a lot of cars like once a year so it means tire rotations once a year oil change once a year so in their mind this lug nut is fine this lug nut will last a lifetime well that's not always the case like a lot of people are changing their oil rotating their tires every few months because we put on more than our the the, the engineers think that we're going to drive uh during that year so i don't know um, you know what? We got we got we got some extra time. I don't know if we've talked about this before, but that's it. It's not my fault. Don't yell at me when I, you need new lug nuts and a drain plug or an oil pan. Um, windshield washer fluid. Stop using stop using all this stuff with this cleaners. Uh, we've been running into this issue as as well with um, uh, having uh, to spend an hour of your time, my time, your money of cleaning the washer pumps. Uh, sometimes it's more. Sometimes they're really hard to get into where I've got to take them out, manually clean everything. Sometimes I got to take the whole washer fluid jug out, clean it because you're using products like Rain-X and all of these other uh, products that have these um, chemicals in there that will coat your windshield so the rain beads off. Well, what that does, is it also coats the, the, the pump screen, it coats the lines, it coats the, uh, uh, the nozzles. Worst case scenario, we've had to replace a pump, nozzles, you know, you're into it for a couple hundred dollars because you buy into the, these products that are supposed to be just sprayed on and leave a film. They don't work. People swear by them. I'm fine with that because I make money selling you jobs. So when you, when you, when you do something yourself and break it, I love that. You know, it's like, yeah, you can't blame that on me. I, I, I can finally blame something on you. Um, but yeah, stop using that. All the rain X, all the, the windshield washer stuff. Um, a, it doesn't work, um, and B, it just ends up clogging up the whole system over time. It may work for a little while, it may work for six months, a year, but uh, eventually you're going to have to start replacing components or cleaning components, disassembling them. Um, just uh, if you want to use the Rain-X, actually Rain-X isn't the best, use Aquapel. Um, you, can, you can look it up. I don't know if you can get it on Amazon. It's truly the best product out there. Um, clean your windshield. Put you can Aquapel, A Q U A P E L. Look it up, hands down. I think uh, it gets uh, uh, the best results across all platforms. Uh, Motor Age, Motor Trend, uh, Car and Driver, all of that um, stuff. Uh, Aquapel, it works the best. Just use it and then just use regular blue windshield washer fluid. It's got a little ammonia in it, little cleaners, detergents to, to clean off your windshield. Um, none of that extra uh, garbage. So, all right, cats and kittens, uh, I'm going to finish up. I'm going to enjoy this Drew Estate tobacco on this fine Sunday morning. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next week.